According to an urban legend, the meaning behind the name Goat's Bridge came from a story about a shepherd and his goats. The shepherd noticed his goats lingering around a bush for an unusual amount of time. When he went over to where the goats were, he found a pot of gold under the bush. That gold paid for his schooling, and after he became rich and successful, he decided to build this bridge. In past centuries, it was here that Ottoman government officials, also known as viziers, coming from Istanbul, received their welcoming. The Goat's Bridge is the only fully intact bridge in Sarajevo from the Ottoman Empire. It was built in the 16th century on the road that used to lead Sarajevo to Istanbul and other cities in the east. The bridge is built of limestone and travertine. It's 42 meters long, 4.75 meters wide. The arch has a range of 17 and a half meters. There's an arched opening over the river and two circular openings on the sides for aesthetics. To impress the vizier, young boys would jump off the bridge into the shallow water. As this was considered a daring feat, the vizier would then give them money. Today, the Goat's Bridge is accessible via a path called Deriva along the Milyaka River. It is a place for Sarajevans to relax and enjoy nature. To continue the tradition of greeting officials, plaques line the pathway, stating the names of foreign ambassadors to visit the city. So the bridge is important because it's the last standing significant bridge uh, during the Ottoman Empire and the people of Bosnia and Sarajevo really treasure their history. Since the bridge connected Sarajevo to Istanbul, um, it acted as a gateway for Bosnian interaction with the rest of the world. So Ruby, what did you think of the Goat's Bridge? I thought the Goat's Bridge was very nice actually for what the city has already like in the main part of the city it was very different and it felt like the atmosphere was completely different it felt like you were in a completely different country basically because you're on the outskirts of the city so you're by the mountains you're by all the trees you're by where all the really large houses are compared to when you're in the small city and you don't have the fresh air and it's completely a completely different environment and I honestly, when I was standing on the bridge, I thought it was really interesting that I was standing where officials were and important people were brought to because that was a significant place for them to be brought to.